Okay, so this is going to be a test of rendering a 1080p 10 minute video on Kden Live on a Linux Mint uh, 18 laptop. Uh, this is the Leveno uh, X220, and I'm not going to record the entire rendering, but I will record the end result and let you know how long it took. So I'm just taking a quick snapshot here with P Sensor open so we can see the core temperatures and how much memory is actually being used during the rendering process. And it's pretty much what we would expect. Um, your temperatures are hovering around the 72 mark, so it's not under like complete full load. Uh, CPU usage is actually fairly low considering the age of the processor and the task that we have it doing. Uh, the timer started at about 24 minutes to render uh, the video. Uh, a couple of things to keep in mind though is that timers on computers when it comes to rendering lie. Uh, that's just a, a standard I think in the industry. Uh, the other thing to note is, is that the fan is hovering at around 3800 RPM. The temperature uh, is acceptable and unlike some older laptops running say a Windows environment, I think you could probably get away with working comfortably uh, while this was running in the background. The reason I've chosen not to do that or use a screen record software for this is I did not want it to uh, skew the test results. So by filming externally, uh, hooking up the laptop to um, wall power as opposed to using the battery, I'm kind of giving it the most realistic test uh, in my opinion. So I will report back once we've got a full graph and a completed video. So as we see here the final rendering time for the video was uh, exactly 24 minutes so it looks like the clock was actually fairly accurate uh, for this. Now one thing I didn't notice until after I had already rendered the video was there are some settings I could have adjusted that would have potentially increased uh, the speed. So to be thorough, um, I'm going to go under the render project and I'm going to increase uh, the encoder speed and go up to uh, four threads and I'm going to run it uh, the exact same again, uh, just only changing uh, those parameters and we will see what we get. Uh, the graph that we got was consistent with everything else. Uh, so yeah, Let's just do one final test uh, to render uh, the file. We want to overwrite and we will see what happens. So it's claiming a five minute uh, rendering time with all four cores going. Um, so I will come back and see if that's actually the case. Okay, so half through uh, the rendering process and now we're seeing some what I would call traditional video rendering uh, statistics. Uh, we have uh, your heat going to around 84 degrees, which is toasty. CPU usage is hovering at around 95%. So uh, before we were only using one core to render and that took 25 minutes. Now we're using four core and now we've got that down to a very speedy uh, five minutes to render that 1080p video. And I have to say, that's actually very comparable uh, to my Intel i7-4770K that I've got running on the desktop. So you can chalk that up to different programs, you can chalk it up to different uh, environments. Uh, there's too many factors to really do a direct comparison, but to answer the question that I received on YouTube, uh, would this be uh, usable? I would say absolutely uh, it would be usable. Just make sure that you're on battery power. Make sure your cooling is your cooling system is up to par. So maybe re-thermal paste the CPU, give the fan a good cleaning, and just make sure that the components can stay uh, stay cool. Uh, but we'll check out uh, when this finishes, and we'll see what happens. All right. So the video actually finished in five minutes and forty three seconds, running all four core. And as you can see, we're having a return to normal here on P sensor. So our temperatures are dropping uh, down that 30 degrees, which means our cooling system is working quite well since we had it all the way up to 80. And there is our CPU 
and temperature usage graph off to the left, uh, just showcasing the results that we've got going all the way up and coming all the way down. And I think that's also really important too, to see the efficiency of uh, that usage to go all the way up and then come all the way down because video rendering can be a very demanding uh, application to run on any computer, especially a laptop. So to see that it's coming down as smoothly as it has means that you are ready to move on to your next project and carry on. Now, which one would you do? Well, I think it depends on what you're using your computer for at that time. If you need to do some other tasks in the background, setting it to a single core and having it run for 25 minutes, not that big of a deal. Uh, however, if you need to get this stuff done yesterday, setting it to the four thread uh, is definitely uh, a viable and a very speedy option. If you have any other questions about this laptop and what it can do or the Linux Mint operating system, please feel free to make a comment below. This is how that vi uh, this video was made. And yeah, look forward to sharing with you.